Hello, thank you for checking out the video. Today we'll be checking out uh, some recent seismic activity, mainly in the United States. Earlier today at 8.05 uh, UTC, there was a 6.1 magnitude quake in Papua uh, New Guinea. Also a couple of hours later, there's a 5.9 in the Kermadec Islands uh, region. Now, uh, these uh, quakes are uh, all in the West Pacific. Taking a look at available web recorders from USGS, we can see these two larger quakes show up uh, pretty much around the world. And then, of course, uh, over here, uh, on this one in Australia, we can see it show up quite well. Here in Narogen, Narogen, Australia, there is a very clear uh, P wave right here, followed by the S wave. Here's the station at Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea. Not as clear of a, a, a P wave here, which I kind of find a, a little interesting. Throughout the day and the last 24 hours, activity in Alaska has uh, increased, including a magnitude 4.8, uh, a significant quake marked in red here. This magnitude 4.8 is close to uh, Anchorage. The Did You Feel It map for this 4.8 covers a uh, nice uh, area around Anchorage. Most of the squares are uh, around Anchorage. You can see a total of 1,052 responses. And it looked like most of those were uh, in Anchorage. Just uh, exactly 24 hours ago from me speaking, there was a magnitude 4.1 uh, on the Juan de Fuca Fracture Zone, or just off the coast of Oregon. Now there was a uh, Did You Feel It reports. Looking at the Did You Feel It reports, they actually, they look false. This one looks possible. But then there's a point here in Portland, there's no way that, uh, someone felt that also in the last 24 hours a uh, small swarm has broken out near uh, Lenox or uh, Lenox <laughs> Lenox California in uh, Los Angeles near uh, the, the uh, main uh, international uh, airport there this is the region where we saw a magnitude 4 earlier this month accompanied by a swarm April 5th at 1144 UTC at about 20 kilometers in depth or 19.3 this was also listed as a significant quake did you feel it reports just blanket uh, the whole Los Angeles area and again that was for the quake uh, earlier this month but today uh, the largest quake was a magnitude 2.4 at a, a slightly deeper uh, depth than the magnitude 4 that happened earlier this month no did you feel the reports at least listed on the USGS uh, web page this happened at six about 1638 UTC there's also a, a 2.2 which does have some did you feel it reports and it was just slightly shallower but it was also slightly smaller magnitude the did you feel the report one did you feel the report for this quake is uh, just a little bit north of it two days ago there was a shallow magnitude 3.7 quake at lake tahoe right inside of the lake when the computer first calculated the magnitude for this quake, it came in as a magnitude 4, and it had a negative depth. 
Checking out the fault structure here in Lake Tahoe, there are three main faults. There's the West Tahoe Fault, which according to uh, some scientists uh, could produce a lower level uh, magnitude 7. So it could produce a, a 7.1 quake if, it, if the whole uh, fault were to go. There's also the North Tahoe Fault in the center here. And then there's the Incline Village Fault.